It's Brian Mudd. This is my cheat sheet for Monday, October 17th. All right, so last week we knew that there was an all-time electronic device sales record, the pre-order day for the iPhone 4S. It sold over 1 million uh, copies day one for a pre-order. It broke the previous record, which had been held by Apple, and it was the iPhone 4, and just over 600,000. Well, the records didn't stop there. A lot of times we take a look at the success of some of these Apple devices, and we just look at Apple. But all the companies are involved with it. We also now know that there were all-time one-day sales records set by AT&T and for Sprint, which is very important with their current economic situation, uh, you know, as well. All told, there are more than 10 different companies from component uh, manufacturers that go into the iPhone 4S to the companies like uh, Verizon and Sprint and AT&T that have access to them on the service provider side. They all see tremendous economic benefit from the success of these products. And it's that much more important in this otherwise tough economy. So Apple not only has, you know, the, the huge economic impact for the company itself and its employees, but so many other companies, more than 10 winners because of the success of the Apple iPhone 4S. All right, so next time you go to the doctor, and he wheels out his iPhone out of his pocket. And you go, hey, hey, Doc, what about me here? No, he actually might be doing something that is related to you and your treatment. Get this. A new app has been accepted by the FDA. It's called Mobile Mem uh, for doctors to be able to use for diagnosis purposes while they're treating you. So it's available right now for the iPad or for the iPhone. And I believe that this is going to be the gateway towards new tremendous software technology that is being used for immediate diagnosis and treatment in doctor's offices. This is a really cool new direction that we're, we're going to be heading. This is uh, something that you'll appreciate. Unless you have an unlimited plan, the odds are you have at some point been faced with an unwanted surprise on your cell phone bill. And back, uh, you know, back in the earlier days of cellular technology, it would be minutes that you'd be over by, and that would stink, but it would just be minutes or and or roaming. Well, these days, it's data plans as well, and if you're over on your data plan, that can be really, really expensive. Well, the good news is, over the next 18 months, all service providers are going to have in place a system that will notify you before you roam, before you go over on your minutes, or before you go over on your data plan, so you can make up your mind about whether you still want to use the information to get that uh, unwanted bill uh, that would be higher. No surprises, in other words. I think this is a tremendous step forward. It was agreed to by the uh, the industry itself along with the federal government. And so uh, I, even though they have an 18-month window, I would expect by the end of next year, most service providers will have this in place. And I think it's uh, it'll be of great benefit to all of us. Plus, it'll let you know if you need to up your plan because it's so hard to know, especially with the data plans, how much you really use. Uh, Google Translate. Here's something cool. Google has already had very good technology in place to be able to translate various different languages. My wife Ashley uses it from time to time when dealing with certain business professionals that might be foreign uh, based. Well, this time around, it's going to be much uh, more usable because there's an app now that's going to be available for all Android devices and functional for business professionals that do deal with individuals that speak different languages. Google Translate now is available on the Android operating system. It's an app that will be able to simultaneously translate 14 languages at one time. Uh, it's the best technology of its kind. More information about it on the cheat sheet today. Uh, here's good news as well for U.S. companies. In the event that Europe doesn't die on itself and that we actually do get a healthier economy going here in the United States, there's actually a lot of reason to be optimistic. How about that word? U.S. companies are in the fewest, uh, the fewest number of U.S. companies on a percentage basis are in default since April of 2008, before the midst of the economic crisis. During the height of the economic crisis uh, in November 2009, 11.5% of all U.S. companies were in default with at least one of their creditors. That's now down to 1.9% almost 10% of where we were. And in a healthy economy, we see that around 1% or maybe even a little bit less. So this is very good news. The companies that are still with us are much better positioned for more success if, if we can just get to a healthier economy. By the way, the Honda Pilot, the top SUV, according to uh, cars.com and USA Today, heading into next year. It's a cheat sheet for today. See you tomorrow.